you remember the waterbed craze of the 1980s, a time when nearly one in four mattresses sold was a waterbed? Yet today they are a mere footnote in the annals of home decor, with many stores not even stocking them. But how did this happen? How did our love for the waterbed, a symbol of comfort and innovation, dry up so quickly? The history of waterbeds dates back to as early as 3600 BCE. Persians filled goatskin mattresses with water warmed by the sun, creating the earliest known version of a waterbed. Fast forward to the early 1800s, Dr. Neil Arnott, a Scottish physician, created a hydrostatic bed for patients suffering from bed sores. This bed was essentially a warm bath sealed with a thin layer of rubber and varnish. In 1853, a therapeutic rubber mattress that could be filled with water was patented by Dr. William Hooper of Portsmouth, England. This invention was also aimed at hospital patients, particularly those suffering from poor circulation and bed sores. The mid 20th century saw the concept of waterbeds being taken up in the realm of science fiction. Writer Robert Heinlein, having spent a considerable amount of time bedridden, described waterbeds in great detail in three of his novels. His vision of the perfect hospital bed had a sturdy frame, was temperature controlled, and contained pumps to control the water level. It even had compartments for drinks and snacks. The modern waterbed as we know it was the brainchild of industrial design student Charles Hall. In 1968, Hall submitted a waterbed prototype for his master's thesis. Hall's design used a vinyl mattress and was inspired by the soothing properties of water. Despite initial failed attempts with cornstarch gel and jello, water proved to be the perfect filling. Hall's waterbed was such a hit during the thesis workshop that he ended up receiving an A for his project. Hall filed for a patent in 1970 and established his own company, Interspace Environments, to manufacture waterbeds. His early customers included renowned names such as the band Jefferson Airplane and the Smothers Brothers. The waterbed industry boomed in the 1980s, but by the 1990s, it had all but evaporated. The reasons are numerous, from the practicality of moving such a hefty piece of furniture to the difficulty in making the bed. The waterbed, once a symbol of comfort and innovation, became a relic of a bygone era. So there you have it the rise and fall of the waterbed from ancient Persia to the bedrooms of the 1980s. Once a symbol of comfort and innovation, the waterbed is now a nostalgic memory, a testament to the ever-changing tastes and trends of society.